In this video, I'm going to be explaining some of the key differences between an Excel workbook and an Excel worksheet. A workbook consists of multiple worksheets. So right now at the very top, we are in book one. This is our Excel workbook. Now down here at the bottom, there's only one sheet. Later in the course, we'll discuss how to add sheets a little bit more in detail. But for now, just really quickly, I'm going to add a few more sheets by clicking this plus sign. Now I have three sheets that live inside this one workbook. The Excel worksheet is consisted of rows and columns. So we have the row numbers here on our left, one, two, three, four, all the way down, and the columns, A, B, C, D, and all the way to the right. To get to the very bottom row, we are going to use a shortcut key which is control down arrow and if you're on the Mac I believe it's command down arrow and throughout the course I'll try my best to anytime we use a shortcut key I will also provide the Mac version as well but right now I'm on Windows so I'm going to press control down arrow and as you can tell there are 1,048,576 rows and now to get back to the very top we're going to do the opposite we're going to press control up arrow and if you're on Mac it's command up arrow to get to the very last column all the way to the right we're going to be using kind of the same shortcut which is control right arrow now I know there's not a number but XFD is equivalent to 16,384 columns so if we do the math that means there are over 17 billion cells in a single worksheet which is kind of crazy as for how many worksheets you can have in a single workbook, there is no limit. It's all based on how much memory your computer can handle. Now, earlier versions of Excel, there was a limit of only 255 worksheets. So I would strongly recommend staying beneath that because the more worksheets you have in a workbook, the slower the application will run.